How long does it take for humanity's fastest spaceship to travel one light year? We know that when a beam of light travels in a straight line through space for an entire year, the distance it covers is called a light year, which is about 946.07 billion kilometers. By comparison, the distance between the Sun and Earth is only 150 million kilometers, and Earth's circumference is about 400 million meters, so a light year is a scale far beyond human reach. Even today's most advanced spacecraft face enormous challenges crossing that distance. For example, the artificial probe Voyager 1 travels at 6200 kilometers per hour, more than 170 times the speed of a high-speed train. Sounds fast, right? Yeah. But that's actually less than one ten thousandth the speed of light. Since its launch in 1977, Voyager 1 has used gravitational slingshots around planets to accelerate. It's now heading toward the center of the galaxy and cannot return to Earth, facing only cold and loneliness. Although it travels at 61 200 kilometers per hour, at this speed, it would take a full 17,000 years to travel one light year. Can you imagine such an incredibly lit vibe? But Voyager 1 isn't the fastest. In 2018, the United States launched the fastest man-made spacecraft ever, the Parker Solar Probe. After multiple gravity assists from Venus, the Parker probe reached speeds up to about 690,000 kilometers per hour when closest to the sun, which is about 0.060% of the speed of light. This is nearly the speed limit humans can currently achieve. Unfortunately, even if a manned spacecraft reached this speed, it would still take over 1,500 years to travel just one light year. Calculating these numbers really makes you marvel at the vastness of the universe and the infinity of time. However, if we want to cross light years and explore interstellar space in the future, there might be two possible methods. The first is mastering warp drive technology like in sci-fi movies that enables faster than light travel. The second is finding so-called wormholes that allow free passage through the universe. But these are only theoretical concepts with no practical foundation at present. Mm. So for tiny us, even crossing one light year feels incredibly difficult, let alone the nearest star to the sun, Proxima Centauri, which is still 4.22 light years away. The closest large galaxy to Earth is the Andromeda Galaxy, about 2.54 million light years away. And the diameter of the entire observable universe reaches an astonishing 93 billion light years. The universe is just that vast beyond our imagination. But there's no need to worry, because the vastness of the universe means there are even more mysteries hidden beyond light years waiting for us to explore.